Hi, Peter King with the MMQB here, and this is One on One with Peter King, presented by the new Windows. In Seattle for the divisional round game, had a chance to speak with Earl Thomas, the safety of the Seattle Seahawks, about many things. But we started off by talking about the hit that I think everybody saw in that game. I think the announcers on television said he got the wind knocked out of him. That wasn't the wind. That was hit just a little bit lower. We're here with the Seattle Seahawks' Earl Thomas, and Earl, I think across the country, everybody who watched that game in the divisional round against the New Orleans Saints saw you. I think the announcer said you got the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> I don't think you got the wind knocked out of you. You know, it was a bang-bang play, and obviously it wasn't the wind. It was my jewels that got knocked around. But, <laughs> you know, that's, that's a part of the game, and uh, I'm glad nothing was hurt too serious, and I was able to get back in the game and just miss one play. So... The one thing I think everybody would wonder is, mm -hmm. why don't football players wear cups? You can't, man. I like to be free, man. It's just, it really doesn't happen that often. You know, like baseball players, the ball hits you right there. It's not the same. Uh, you just go out there and you really don't think about situations like that. You just let everything happen naturally and just flow with it. In the game against the Saints, mm -hmm. you guys had a game plan, obviously. Mm -hmm. You played some man, some zone. It looked like you really frustrated Jimmy Graham. Mm -hmm. What happened? What did you do to Graham to kind of take him out of his game? We were just normal. You know, I think what everybody's getting all excited for about the one player, we don't really emphasize any one particular player. You know, and I think that's what uh, can throw a defensive off and throw off the balance that we have. So we just go out there and challenge you. We, we're going to challenge you to beat us deep, you know. And we have great cover guys. We have an all-pro corner in Sherm and a guy that only played six games with four picks in uh, Byron Maxwell. And obviously with me and Cam back there, it's just tough. You know, that's a great group one of the best in the league. Why is it that so many lower drafted guys, you're a number one pick, mm -hmm. but you know Richard Sherman, fifth round, Cam Chancellor, fifth round, Byron Maxwell, sixth round. Mm -hmm. What is it about all of the guys in this secondary that make them play better than where they were drafted? It's just a culture of everybody deciding that they want to be the best. We want to, we want to leave our mark in, on history, not just the game. You know, we want to be talked about we want to set history. That, that's, that's just it. You know, everybody want to be the best. You know, Sherman want to be the best corner. Sherman want to be the best defensive player. Cam the same way. Me the same way. And when, when we practice the way we practice and challenge each other, it's been times where we're at each other's neck, you know what I'm saying, because the communication is bad and we felt like this guy should have did this. But you love that and you respect that. And at the end of the day, we always going to love each other but respect, and respect each other. But it's uh, sometimes you, in practice. I love you, I love you, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the practice is just tough love, but you need that because on the field we always show up and show out. You, you got Byron Maxwell ready to play when he had to play, didn't you? What did you do with him? Just a consistent encouragement. I think guys really bind to what I say just because the way I practice, I lead by example first. You know, I, I don't really be in the forefront, but when I speak, everybody listen, and it comes from a good place, and it's, you can feel that connection. You can feel that genuine energy. Don't you feel right now that – regardless of what happens from here on out, yeah. you guys have sort of proven that you are a premier defense? Yeah, definitely. Like, if, if we have a bad performance, like, early on in the season, that doesn't define us because we know what we're capable of. We know what we know our personnel, you know, and we know when we're on it and we're communicating well, we're, we're tough. We're tough to stop. You know, we're going to set history. It might not be this year, but Seattle going to make a lot of make a lot of history. You're going to host the NFC Championship game mm -hmm. at this stadium in front of all these people who are fairly loud. Mm -hmm. You've played in front of this stadium now a long time. What is the difference between playing here and playing elsewhere? It's different. You know, you hear a lot of talk about us as a team, how we celebrate, we do too much, we're cocky, and we just like the 12th man, the 12th man is different. You know, they're loud, they're cocky, not cocky, but they're confident. You know what I'm saying? So you can't take the way us, uh, we celebrate and the way, you know what I'm saying, that they're loud. We love that. We love being different. We, you know, I think the weirdest people in the world are the most successful people in the world. <laughs> do you think that the fans actually do have a bearing on whether you win the games? Definitely, because I can feel it. You know, you can feel it. You, you feel them in it. You feel them the chance. Uh, you feel the excitement. You feel that energy. That's why I always say we're one. And you look across the line of scrimmage and you see a quarterback sort of struggling yes. to be understood and to be heard and everything. C communication is a big factor in everything in life, you know, and that's the same thing with football. When the offense come in here with that loud noise and our defense is already good, you know, and you add in a factor of what the 12th man brings, it's tough, you know, because you can't be at your best because the communication is not there. You, you're not on the same page. 
Are we going to see the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl in New Jersey? I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying it, man. I'm, I think the, the big thing about us, we just having fun. This is football. This We have the Pop Warner mentality. It's free, free spirit, but we have that balance. And these games are obviously big, but we're not – they're, we're not stressing out about them. You know, we're just having fun. And practice is where it's at. So I can't say we're going to win. we got to practice our butt off first. <laughs> Earl, congratulations, and uh, glad it's only the win that got knocked out of you. Oh, man, me too, man. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Our thanks to Earl Thomas, and thanks to you for watching One-on-One -on -one with Peter King, presented by the new Windows.